we've had the call to order, Pledge of Allegiance, and roll call. Agenda edits. Uh, under personnel, item 7. Nope. Same thing, it's just in red. Yeah, I can read it. Good and block. Item 7A. We're going to add under administration item 1A Thomas Hankel, principal of the high school, will retire effective January 30th, 2015. And letter B1. Tara Desiderio. Desiderio, I would have gotten oh. Thank you. Tara Desiderio, computer teacher, unpaid leave of absence beginning December 3rd through December 12th, approximately. And the classified employee, Harry, how do you pronounce it? Amel. Amel, the groundskeeper of an unpaid leave of absence beginning January 2nd, 2015. Through March 31st, 2015. <coughs> and under item A, finance, a motion to approve the 12 month electricity supply agreement with Constellation New Energy. That's the any, any other agenda edits. The procedures for public participation are on the inside of the cover of the agenda. Are there any presentations by the public on agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move on to personnel. Is there a motion on any of the personnel items? Motion for 7A through B as amended. Second. Motion by Mr. Wolf, second by Mr. Kurtz for 7A. Seven, for seven through B as amended. Any discussion? Could I, could I, I think I can speak for a lot of us that have children at the high school that Mr. Hankel's presence will be missed. Yeah, I'd like to say as well, I really appreciate Mr. Hankel's assistance with the curriculum committee and changes to the curriculum in the high school. I'm very grateful. Can I ask the question, Mr. Amel, this unpaid leave of absence is... Certainly. Medical. Medical. Other comments or questions? I have a question about that. Will the groundskeeper's position be filled in temporary? Yes. Yes. Mr. Basil? Motion for 7A through B as amended. Uh, Mr. Basil, yes. Mrs. Bites? Yes. Mr. Doty? Yes. Mr. Kurtz? Yes. Mr. Rathkin? Yes. Mr. Speed? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. Mr. Martino? Yes. Nelson passes 8 0. Can you see the replacement Item 8, finance. We now have 8A and B. A is to approve the resolution for the partial refinancing. Uh, the general obligation note and B, as discussed, was the uh, electricity supply agreement. Motion for A, B as amended. I request um, the revision to AA to add the following language, and it would be at the end of the uh, motion as presented, we would read and approve the addendum to bond purchase agreement presented by RBC Capital Markets, LLC. I believe the board members uh, all had a receipt of the copy of the addendum, which includes the actual final pricing on the bonds and confirms uh, net savings, I believe, um, Mr. Stahl, of $566,000. Yes, on page six of your packet, the anticipated savings are now 566. In addition, there's a separate handout regarding your ratings direct on the bond rating. 
and you did receive a double A minus or double A double A minus stable rating. Uh, and uh, while double A is, is good, the good news is it doesn't require bond insurance. So there was twenty eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars budgeted into each of the issues for bond insurance, which went to the bottom line, which helped increase your uh, your savings figure increase it from the 480, 490 where we were to the 566. And uh, they're hoping for similar savings in the second issue in January. Yeah, I understand this is just for the first refinance. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll agree to the uh, amendment as presented by our solicitor, Mr. Suvers. Motion by Mr. Wolf, second by Mr. Kurtz, as amended. Any other discussion or on item B? Now that I have my bifocals focus, back to Mr. Bases' question on the current energy contract. It was a two-year contract with First Energy net it. Point of I do have a quick question, Mr. Small, on the bond rating. That is an improvement to the district, correct? I don't think so. I, I think it's the same bond rating we've had. I was the last issue. Well, I was told by uh, RDC on Tuesday last week that our last was in May. This is the first double A that we have had. Can you please uh, tell us why did we get that improved rating? What are we doing? Well, the rationale is spelled out here. Uh, they feel that, uh, that overall, in spite of PACERS uh, issues, that uh, because of the surpluses that have been generated in the past few years, and uh, some of the other things you can read, their, their verbiage here, the, uh, they, they feel that we're entitled to a double A. I believe that a part of that has to do with the business office and the great work that you and Mr. Miller are doing. So I just want to say thank you again for that. We're dealing with what we have, but uh, doing the best with what we have, I guess. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Small. But like, in general, it just seems to indicate that, at least at the present time, we have our finances under control. Well, I think what it says here is a strong financial performance in the past three years. So um, the three most difficult years of this district's recent memory. I'd like to point out also that there, um, reference, there is a reference to the 20-year facility study that affected our bond rating also, showing uh, financial uh, maturity. <coughs> Which justifies that expense to, 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 to a degree, right? 60000 Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mrs. Blake. It seems to show that we're, we're at least on the right path, and we just need to continue down that path. Other comments or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Basil? Motion for A and B revised and amended. Uh, Mrs. Bites? Yes. Mr. Doty? Yes. Mr. Kurtz? Yes. Mr. Rathkin? Yes. Mr. Speed? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. Mr. Basin? Yes. Mr. Martino? Yes. Motion passes 8 0. Thank the Finance Committee for their work on this. Yes, and that's some good, and I forgot to, to mention that when I was saying the business office, the finance committee really deserves a lot of credit here as well. So thank you, Mr. Basil, and the rest of the finance committee. Thank you, Mr. Kirk. Thank you. Item 9, under policy, we, we've already had the graduation requirements withdrawn, and, and the booster policy needs three or four changes, so I suggest we table those. We don't vote on any of Right, right now. Well, it's on the special vote. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's yeah, not just a regular vote. Okay. Moving on to item 10, program Z. Uh, motion to approve the school board meeting calendar for 2015. I 
there a motion on the calendar or well, usually we have a motion and then we have discussion. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Basil, second by Mr. Kurtz. Discussion? Uh, Ms. Kordowski, and, and this is true, last year she could not make the organization meeting on a Tuesday because of a conflict with her, her job. And this year she couldn't be here tonight. And if we continue to have the organization meeting on Tuesday, she will not be able to make it next year if she's on the board. So I guess my question is, is, is there a problem changing the organization meeting, which is required to be held in the first week of December? So it could be Wednesday or Thursday. I think we move it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty simple. Yeah, I think the question is to, to which day. I mean, the reason why we don't have it on Monday is because school's closed. Is that the right? Traditionally, it's a holiday. School's closed in the summer too. We still have meetings. Yeah. Well, the sake of planning purposes, it's easier if all meetings are supposed to make it. If it was on Monday, I think that would be the most convenient for everybody because we anticipate that. I sort of rather not keep the building up unnecessarily. It's just for us coming over here. Is it true that the temperature would be down in the buildings when? Typically, he, it cuts back, but five day stretch like that. Yeah. I much prefer Wednesday personally. Mr. Kirsten, I'd be out hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. Well, if anybody wants to take me on, I think I'd be happy to go. But <laughs> Wednesday is the second. Weekend, Thursday is the third. Travel. Wednesday is the mm -hmm. second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can't have it Monday because it's the 31st Monday of Monday is the 30th of November. November. Right there. 30th. 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 Sorry. So if we do it Wednesday, it would be December 2nd. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, so we would amend the schedule to the organization meeting being December 2nd? Yes. Well, so the, the motion would have to be amended. I amend the motion to December 2nd. To change my date to December 2nd. Seeing no other discussion, Mr. Basil? Mr. Doty? Yes. Mr. Kurtz? Yes. Mr. Rathke? Yes. Mr. Speed? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. Mr. Basil? Yes. Mrs. Bites? Yes. Mr. Martino? Yes. Motion passes 8 0. Presentation by the public on any issues? Seeing none, is there a motion to motion? Could I, uh, Alyssa and Ella, could I see you for one brief minute, please?